Thank you Lord for his mercy and his blessing. And I want to welcome you once more to Home Up Your Bible. For those who are regular listeners, um, we thank you for supporting and I, I, I know that you've been blessed, right? And uh, for those who are new, I want to welcome you to Home Up Your Bible. And uh, as I always say, invite your friends and um, join us, right? Okay, um, all right, let's give our children their portion, all right? So, the children's corner, we start off by singing Heavenly Sunshine. And you know that when the sunshine comes in, you know, everything changes. And Jesus is the sun, hallelujah. Heavenly sunshine, heavenly sunshine, gladden my soul with your divine. Hallelujah, I am rejoicing, singing his praises. Jesus is mine. And how are you named? How are you named? So glad to see you when you're here again. Heavenly sunshine, heavenly sunshine, on my soul is glory divine. Hallelujah, I am rejoicing, singing his praises, Jesus is mine. Hallelujah, I am rejoicing, singing his praises, Jesus is mine. One more time. Singing up, but um, way way back, like about 40 years ago, um, that I was young too. But I hear them singing, "How are your neighbor? How are your neighbor?" As I keep telling people, you know, um, take care of the children, um, give them what they need when they're a child, because you'll only be a child once. Right? So I can sing all of these children's songs, but I can't sound like a boy anymore, like a child. I cannot be a child again. I can't turn back the hands of time without this concern. And that's something that every parent, everyone should realize. You can't turn it back, all right? It will only be there one time, and that's it. Okay, so we thank God. All right, we are, um, I'm gonna sing um, some children's songs, right? Songs that I sang when I was a child. As I said, those days I couldn't even play music, but now I can play the music, but I cannot be like, I can't be a child again, right? So, okay. So all I have is a memory, and I'm thanking God, nevertheless, right? So let's sing. Um, it's a song that says, Let us with a gladsome mind praise the Lord for his kind, for his mercies endure, ever faithful, ever sure. Um, was a well-known song. I'm going to try to sing it. I think just two verses I know.
I've got love like an ocean. I've things going on in the world today. Um, some people, uh, uh, the, the time which, they, which is told you that Jesus was born is what right. The time when he was born is this time, about this time, I think maybe a little bit earlier, but according to the Jewish calendar, which most Jews don't observe, okay? And then in the Christian they observe it at the wrong time and some just don't bother observe it at all. Okay, and um, so we don't want to um, ignore what the scripture says because our Savior was to be born. And last week we spoke about, um, we spoke about God is a creator, right? No, the week, two weeks ago, and uh, we spoke about the heaven and the earth. In the beginning, it was covered with darkness, okay? And you know what darkness is. Even as children, you don't like darkness, right? Mommy has to put a night light in the, in the bedroom and if you wake up and it's dark, then you feel scared, right? So uh, darkness has always been something scary. Um, what I mean is, uh, I'm, I'm not saying you, you want to have light all the while, but you want to have some amount of light because it makes a sense of comfort it, it makes a sense of security and um thank you jesus right that's what light does right with darkness there's a sense of um of, of fear and a, a scare right children okay you know that right but when you get a light then you start to feel secure you start to feel comfortable okay so even though you don't want to sleep in a bright light, but you want to have some light around you, okay, so if you get up, at least you won't fall out. So darkness has not been the, the best thing for humanity. It's not been a good thing, right? It's not been. So what happens is that 
the world was in darkness until God brought light, right? But when he brought light, the, the devil was, did not like that there was light. So the devil brought people to disobey God. And so when they disobeyed God, and, um, Adam and Eve, then there came darkness again. Now, the problem was that there was the darkness and there was a the light. And so the, there was a competition, okay, between the light and the, and the dark. And so the light, of course, you know, whenever you have a room, no matter how dark it is, as soon as you bring in a candle or even strike a match, you see something. But it doesn't mean the light is bright enough. Okay, the light might be bright enough for you to see to walk from here to there, but you might have to walk carefully. And you know, you might still fall down because you don't have enough light. So Jesus is a light and the devil is a darkness who sought to take over the world. Okay, so, I, so God had to send his son to be a light here on earth, to walk here as a man, it was a light, okay? So, this is what happened, that, so we needed a savior and we needed him to be born as a baby. And he needed to be born of a woman, just as how we were born of a woman, in order to save us from the darkness of, of Satan, of the devil. So, if you never heard about Satan, I, I doubt you haven't heard about Satan, but if you never heard about Satan, you will hear about him. The, the wickedness of Satan and what he does to us here on earth. So Jesus was to be born as a baby. And so this, the Bible says, I'm going to read just a couple of verses here, and it speaks about it says here, um, and Isaiah chapter 7, it says here, and, there, and he said, Hear ye now, verse 12, O house of David, is it, is it a small thing for you to weary men? Uh, but will ye weary my God also? Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel, right? And that word means God is with us. And we'll take that up in another study, another um, story, because we talk some more about this afterwards. But we're just talking about that a baby was to be born, and a savior was to be born, and he had, because he has been born, has been a baby, right? So he was born, grown in a woman's womb, like any one of us, right? And this was God's promise to the world to take us out of darkness, right? So if for us to understand about this, we must know why, why we needed this Savior to be born. And that's all we're talking about today. And it says here in, in, Rebbe, in Isaiah chapter 7, uh, verse 6, For unto us a child is born, Unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom, to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Alright, so a, a baby, a savior was to be born, and this is what the prophet said. Okay, when I started a whole other series about um, signs of the heaven at the first, and at, um, which I did, okay, we spoke about lots of things pertaining to this. But we had to know that Jesus had to come first as a baby, right? And so this is what we do today, and um, I want everyone to take a note of this. You might never have heard this before, but um, based on the time that we know that Jesus died, um, in the springtime we know that his birth had to be in the 
Atama, the fall, right? Because he was half a year, right? Half a year. He died before he got to his next birthday. Half a year, right? Six months after. So that means he had to be in the middle, right? Between the spring and the next spring, what comes what? Autumn or the fall. So this would be the season about the time when Jesus was born. So little children, I want you to understand that we needed a savior. We needed somebody to save us from the darkness which came upon this world, which was brought by the devil, by, by Satan. And um, the only person who could do it was God's son. So he sent his son and he came in the form of a baby. All right, so right this time we just want to pray and we want to give God thanks for the promise because he, it was said that he would come and he did come and we'll talk, we'll talk some, we'll tell you some more about that in the future. And he did come, all right? And so we want to thank God for the promise at this time. We're going to pray. Almighty God, our gracious, our Father, the great Yahweh who dwell between the cherubim, the Lord of hosts is their name. He shine forth that the earth fill your glory. Let your glory rest upon us, the light shine out of us. Be the exalted far above the heaven, be the exalted far above the earth. Be the exalted far above the heaven, that thy glory be above the clouds, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and the mighty name of Yeshua Mashiach the Great, our Lord. Father, this morning we thank you and we magnify your name because everything that you promise, you perform. You gave us promises of, 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 of this life and you gave us promises of the life to come and eternal life. And Lord, we thank you that even when we were lost and there was no way for us, you promised a Savior was to be born and we thank you for this Savior is your only begotten Son that you sent into this world to save mankind. And so, Father, we thank you for your goodness and your favor. We pray that you bless the children of our Father as we teach them and as we sing and worship with them that they would um, be, um, get to know you and to love you, our Father. You said that in heaven their angels appear before you. And so, Father, surround them with your love and your grace. Let your word uh, be established in them. Let it grow in them, our Father. Amen. And plant all those fruit the seeds and let them bring forth fruit. Even as that seed was planted in me, and I can bring forth fruit even now, our Father. Amen. And so, Father, I pray you bless them. Bless their parents. Let them teach them the way. Protect them at school, our Father. Protect them on their play, our Father. Protect them even when they take their shower, whatever they do, whatever they do, you watch over them, our Father, that they will grow up as tender plants before you, to love you, amen, our Father, and to be good and be faithful, that when our Lord Jesus shall come in glory, they'll be able to enter in with him into his kingdom. Now, Father, we pray that you bless us to live for thee, cause us to rise up before thee, establish our going out and our coming in, and grant that the purpose you have for life is accomplishing us for time and for eternity. And cover under the blood of Jesus Christ, great eternal lamb. Cover under the almighty wings of great eternal hand. Go before us a pillar of fire by night, pillar of fire by day. Save us in your kingdom and the Lord Jesus Christ, the great shall come in glory. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord. Amen. 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 So, okay. So let's um, finish this up now. Um, I got two more songs for um, children here. And it says, um, now I think I'm going to too far here. And Jesus loved me this time. That was last week. Um, okay, all right. So now I have a song here. This song is on the CD, So Many Deliverances. But it's not by itself, it's on a medley, right? And um, it's um, three songs, right? It's track number, track number, um, I call it the Tell It, Tell It, uh, my grief. Track number, um, my grief, where is this thing? 
the telechorus medley, track number seven, as the song said, go tell it on the mountain. I'm just gonna sing a little bit of it. Thank you. 